Hello friends, how are you all doing? I know that due to this Corona pandemic, you are at home, you are not able to come to the college. Still, you don't need to worry about anything. Reliance Latur Pattern has brought you an application which is distance learning program, Reliance Now Education Meets Online, through which you can stay at home and you can study as you are in college. There are two versions of this application. If you want to download it for your desktop, then you have to go to our website. You have to visit our website. You have to type eduRLP.com and you, have, you can download this application for your desktop. And if you are an Android phone user, then you can go to the Google Play Store. And from there, you can download it. The name of the application in Google Play Store is RLP Nemo. I repeat it again, it's RLP Nemo. You can download it from your Google Play Store for your Android phone. Now you can see, once you download this application, you will see the interface, which is showing username and a password. Every individual students will be given a username and a password. You can add your username in a rectangle which is given here like this and a password once you enter your username and password you have to click on a login once you click on a login through your username and password you will see the interface which is showing reliance latu pattern distance learning program on a right hand corner at the top you will see test, doubts, my profile, and this is your personal profile. Okay, so now you can see here the 11th regular 2020 in which you are able to see four subjects, physics, maths, chemistry, and a biology. Same for 12th regular 2020, physics, maths, chemistry, and a biology. Now, you have to click on any subject. We'll click on physics. Okay, so now we have chosen the subject physics. So now what you can see, all the topics of physics mentioned over here. These are all our topics of physics then what we'll do is we'll click on any one topic i'll choose circular motion okay yeah so once you click on any sub topic then what you will see is a videos which has been recorded on circular motion there are a 12 number of videos and you will get the resources along with this at a right hand corner which is in a PDF file and an ebook so that you can use it for your own purpose for the studies. You'll get this material through the interface which is showing resources. Now, what we have to do is we have to click on any video. We'll select video number first of circular motion or physics subject. Okay, so what you can see is a video number first of a circular motion. Once you will see this interface, you have to click on a video. You have to start a video. It will take a bit time. You have to wait according to your internet connection. Okay. Then once the video is start, you can adjust the quality of video through settings. You will get option over here. You can go uh, for the auto mode. You can go for the high resolution of 1080 pixel. You will get multiple options here. You can select according to your internet connection. Once you complete watching this video, you can uh, watch it again and again. If you are not able to understand, once you go through it, once you understand everything, what you can do is you can go to the assignments, which is given below. You can click on the assignments. These assignments are based on the video that you have seen. Now, 
there are some instruction to attempt this test you have to read the instructions truly you have to read the instructions and you have to follow the instructions accordingly and once you have once you have read the instructions and you are done reading the instructions you have to click on start test remember that this test will be based on the video that which you have seen okay so there will be some questions okay you have to uh, attain these tests okay you have to attain these questions okay and once you done with these questions we'll uh, see one demo okay so i have chosen some options question number first okay a question is a particle p is moving in a circle of a radius with a uniform speed u c is the center of the circle and ab is the diameter the angular velocities of p about a and c are in the ratio so we have to choose the right option for it the four correct options four options uh, probable options which is given that is 1 os 1 1 os 2 2 os 1 or 4 os 2 so in that you can choose any relevant answer for it we'll choose one option number one and we'll save and we'll go for the next question so you can do it for all the questions which is given in this assignment and once you are once you are done with complete with this test you can submit this test and you can end up with this once you are done with this test you will get the result for this test okay so you will get get to see that how many questions that you have attempted how many of them are correct how the many, many of wrong okay flag question and total number of questions along with this you will see that the time that you have consumed the time that you have taken to attain the question the average time and next okay the response of your test okay your response correct answers time taken and a marks okay and at the end you will get the solution for each question here you can see the question number one which we solved in the test okay the selected option is one the correct answer is two okay the option which we selected that was option number one but the correct answer was number two now see if i have any doubt if i am not able to understand the solution right how exactly the answer was two so what we can do is we can raise a doubt which is given in the right hand corner okay so if you click on raise doubt okay so you will see one you will see the question and in that what is your doubt so you can type your doubt and you can select a type of a doubt there are multiple options if you click on the doubt type you will get a drop down okay and you will see that there are multiple options okay please explain the solution wrong question if you if you may understand that the question may be wrong okay you can say that wrong question please explain solution or did not understand the solution okay so what ever the doubt may be you can raise the doubt and you can send the doubt you have to click on send the doubt okay and once you click on send the doubt your doubt is sent to the concerned teacher now you have to click on back okay so now you can see on the interface on a right hand corner okay the second option which is given is doubt you have to click on this button okay so the doubt which you have sent you can see that doubt in a pending okay so this was our doubt which we sent to the concerned teacher okay and 
right so you can see uh, the doubt in a pending okay okay so another way is asking a doubt is you can see here at right right hand corner okay ask a doubt there is a logo of ask a doubt if you click on a doubt see sometimes what happen is that the solution the video that you're going through you may be may not be having a doubt in that or maybe you will be having such questions such a doubt which is not in the in that particular video so what you can do is you can go go in the doubt section okay and right at right hand corner you will see that ask a doubt you can click on that okay now uh, you have to you have an option over here that which subject do you have doubt in okay you can select the subject you have to click on it okay you will get the drop down and you will see that there are four subjects mentioned over here physics math chemistry and a biology okay if i'll select physics okay then you have to yeah you have to if now you can see that which chapter okay so now you have to click on a drop down which is provided here so you will see all the chapters of subject physics okay so you have to choose a subject in which you have a doubt okay so mathematical tools i am choosing okay and ask your question whatever the question whatever the doubt that you are having okay you can just write down over here you can just type over here and if you have any image of that particular question you can just you can just click a, a image and you can upload it in this file okay but you have you have to understand that the file that you are uploading should not exceed more than 500 kb okay there are limitations you cannot go for the larger file which is having more than 500 kb you have to restrict it till 500 kb okay then you have to see i am i am choosing one doubt okay and uh, i have chosen a file see now i have to choose on a, i have to click on choose file okay i have the doubt okay i have, I have selected the image of a doubt okay you have to upload it over here and you have to submit it you have to click on a submit button see now you can see over here the doubt sent successfully now the doubt is been sent to the concerned teacher okay students now we'll see the test okay so you have been given an icon of a test at the right hand corner at the top okay you have to click on a test okay so once you click on a test okay there are scheduled test has been given okay you have to so you have to click on a start test okay once you click on a start test we can see the same interface we see we can see the same instruction which we have already seen in assignments okay the same instruction has been given you have to read the instructions you have to go through it okay once you understand okay then you have to at the end you have to click on a start test okay at the bottom you can see there is a icon start test you have to click on it and it will redirect you to the test okay so there are n number of questions has been provided okay okay and this test is j and a neat pattern okay so accordingly you can choose your pattern and you can okay 11th reg you can see here over here 11th regular test for j mains and medium level okay so what you have to do is you have to attempt this test as we have seen earlier the same pattern we are following over here and you have to attempt this test okay okay so now you can see that how many questions that you have attempted and how many of the how many questions have been answered and how many questions are not answered okay so you you have to attempt this test okay and once you are you are done with all the questions you have to submit it okay once you are once you are submitted it will ask you for the confirmation and if you are given the final confirmation 
okay you will redirect to the page which shows your result for the test okay in this test okay how many number uh, number of question that you have solved it will show you the number of questions that you have solved okay the number of questions that you answered correctly the number of question that you answered wrong okay flag question and the total number of questions okay and average time taken for your examination for each question your total marks and at the bottom you will get the solution for the test okay and again for all the questions okay if you are going for the solution and if you are not able to understand anything if you have any doubt or query related any question okay you can again raise the doubt okay the same pattern which we are following for the uh, which we have followed for the assignments videos which we have which we have seen earlier okay so we we have seen that we have chosen one uh, image okay which was containing one doubt okay so we'll go to the doubt once we'll send the doubt to the concerned teacher the teacher will resolve it and send it back to our portal okay and once the solution has been provided after two or three hours we can yeah you have to click on a doubt okay and you can see that earlier uh, the question the doubt which we have raised we, we could see it at pending okay now we can see in our box that we have received one result query so if we click on resolved okay we can see that the question the doubt which we have raised we have got the solution for that concern question okay and doubt has been explained and along with that the concern teacher has provided a video for the doubt you have to click on a url which is given for the solution and once you click on a url it will redirect you see if you click on a solution url it will redirect you to the youtube okay and you can understand your doubt here thank you